So this is the slide that I showed to my software developers uh, really probably just a few months after uh, ChatGPT 3.5 came out. And uh, I talked with them by starting saying, okay, the world is changing. And because of ChatGPT, I'm not sure that we need to hire software developers anymore. And then I saw puzzled looks because we're a software development company. And then I said, and I'm not sure a year from now if we have jobs for software developers. And then I saw looks of fear on faces. <laughs> All right, now I had their attention. And I said, what we do have jobs for a year from now is for software composers. And let me tell you what the difference is. Uh, a software composer doesn't spend all their time doing code implementation and unit testing. Uh, they use AI for that because AI can be really good at writing methods. But what you do need to do is get really good at design because AI is not very good at architectural stuff. It won't even create a good class ecosystem for you. You need how to know how to do that really well and then leverage AI to do all the methods uh, all, and then leverage AI to do unit tests and so forth. So basically I was trying to paint a picture to them that they need to operate at a higher level. I was painting a picture to them that I expected them to adopt this technology very aggressively. And the uh, months after that, I would check in with developers every now and then and say, oh, so what you've been doing this week? Oh, I was writing code for this, writing code for that. Well, why are you writing code? ChatGPT should be doing that for you. You should just be composing it into something larger and editing it to make it maintainable. And so part of the leadership that I gave was really breaking people out of the habits that they had of doing things themselves when they could be using chat GPT or AI to be able to greatly speed up those tasks. Now, what you're looking at here is a mind map of the different tasks that a software developer will uh, carry out. And what's in red is uh, what Gen AI can highly displace, or you could say it could highly accelerate. What's in yellow are the things that Gen AI can moderately displace, or you could say moderately accelerate. And what's in green are things that largely the human still has to do.